What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to another Pokemon trading card game opening. And today we are back with Face Clyde, Box 5, Part Number 3. So if you guys missed out on parts numbers 1 or 2 or any of my other Face Clyde Boost Box openings, links to all of them will be in the description of the video. But yeah, you guys, Part Number 1, insanity. The pulls were so real, we got some amazing stuff. Make sure you go check out that part. Um, part number two, it was pretty good. Uh, it was a nice follow-up after such a hype part. And we did also notice a trend with this box. So if you guys would like to know the trend that's been going down with this box, I'll try not to talk about it in this part. Be sure to go check out part number two. But with that said, it is time to continue with part number three, which means we're cracking into another nine boost packs. So I believe we should have nine left on this left side of the box, which we sure do, and nine on the right. So we'll finish off the left hand, hand side of the box in this part, and then we'll move on to the right hand side. So let's throw these. I'll just double check that there's nine here as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, cool. Got nine. Let's throw Mega Alakazam as the theme of the back here. Just like that that looks pretty pretty solid if I don't say so myself and let's go so let's continue let's finish off this less left hand side of the box with the Lugia break pack art and if you guys did not know Lugia break pack art in this box has treated me very very well if I don't say so myself if I do not say so myself let's go let's see if we can get that hashtag first pack magic so I've got a diglet We've got Spoink, Riolu, Solosis, Fennekin, we've got N, Helix Fossil Omanite, whoops, taking two cards, as I do, uh, Odino Spirit Link, a Reverse Lavatar, just a common, and a Kabutops, regular rare. So yeah, nothing special out of this pack, but let's continue on, continue on. Let's see if uh, pack number two can come through for us with the Zygarde pack art. Alrighty, so here is a code for you guys. Enjoy. Hopefully, you guys managed to get something nice from that one. But let's go. So we've got a... a Vullaby. We've got a Coughing. We've got Spoink. Diglett. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. we got a Lavatar. Omanite. Lass is special. Wigglytuff, a reverse power memory. That looks pretty cool. I love how I know the attacks on the card. I know, it just looks pretty cool. Pretty cool for a trainer card. And a Mew Hollow. Cool. So pack number two came through for us. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So yeah. First pull of part number three. Such an awesome card. I've seen that one quite a lot to be honest from um from the case there is only like five or six hollows or something really small like that in the set so it is very expected to see a lot of the same hollow which hopefully they fix up in steam siege which if you guys uh have or have not seen they did actually release the magiana ex that will be featured in steam siege or the i can't remember the name of the japanese set but yes, there will be a Magiana EX. If I remember, I'll throw a picture on screen for you guys to have a look at that card. But yeah, let me know if, if I do remember to do that. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the Magiana EX. But we've got a coughing and an Exploit regular air. But yeah, so it looks like going off that, it means that we have regular cards as well as dual type cards in the next set which is very interesting very interesting indeed but yeah so let's go up the back and let's see i can't, can't even remember i think this is pack number four but let's go so we got a snivy diglet seal fennekin a carbink whoops mega catcher a wigglytuff dugong a reverse strong energy and then 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 a mr. mime regular rare not bad very peaceful art I, d I can really appreciate the art on that card 
But let's go. Lugia break pack art. High hopes. High hopes, you guys. Like, once once you get good pulls from a certain pack art, I know. I think I think that may be the trend in this box. Like, if I get a good pull from a certain pack art, it just... The pulls will flow from that one pack art. But there we go. There is the code for you guys. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. So we have a... Vullaby. Lavatar. A Coughing. Snivy, Diglett, Alakazam Spirit Link, Wormadam, De Evolution Spray, a Reverse Solosis, that one is just a common with Mini Link, and a Genesect EX. This is one card that I have not seen very much of so far to date out of the four booster boxes that I've currently opened. Um, I'd say this is probably only the second Genesect EX regular EX I should say that I have pulled so that's not bad I'm pretty pleased um, to see this guy again so yeah it's got 180 HP with drive change and rapid blaster it's number 64 out of 124 yeah not bad not bad I think they could have um, given the art on this card a little bit more love personally that's what I think let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think do you think that art is good or do you think that they could have done a little bit better as well? Like, I, I'm i not saying they've done a bad job or anything. But um, just personally, in my opinion, when I look at it, it doesn't, like, strike me as, wow. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. But um, that's what I think. That is what I think. So let's go. So this is the fourth last pack, which makes it the sixth pack. Of this part, so we got a Vullaby, a Burmy, Coughing, Meowth, Lavatar, Altaria Spirit Link, Team Rocket's Handiwork, Fairy Garden, a Reverse Rare Zygarde, that's cool, that is cool, and a Regular Rare, Carving, which is not so cool. Not so cool at all, but it's got the Ability Energy Keeper with Stone Edge. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this part still has some goodies left for us. But we've got a nugget, another nugget. Uh, we got a nugget, guys. We have a nugget Fates Clyde pack to open. Another. Another. God damn it. But there we go. <laughs> there is the code. We have a nugget. Where did I get that from? God damn. So what happens when you work at KFC throughout the day. But we've got a Fennekin, a Vullaby, a Lavatar, Dome Fossil Kabuto, Shuckle, Lass's Special, a Reverse Fennekin, and a Superior Regular Rare. So, Regular Rare, Regular Rare. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we still have um, one more pull left in the part. So we've got Zygarde and Megalakazam left in this part. So let's go with the Zygarde. And see what we can get. If we get anything. Of course. So let's go. So we got a Snivy. A Solosis. Gothita. Minchino. Wizma. Wormadam. Double Colorless Energy. Breaks in. A Reverse Pupitar. A White Curum. White Curum holo rare which is good but at the same time it's bad because that just means one less ultra rare to be pulled out of the box but not bad not bad a holo is a holo nonetheless i say white curum would maybe i don't know it potentially be my least favorite holo from the set i don't know i'd have to have another look at them and see but yeah it's definitely not my favorite by any means but let's go. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic out of this Mega Alakazam pack art. So let's throw this one up back. Whoops. Oops, I hate it. I hate when the codes are backwards like that. It throws me off like crazy still. I'm, sl I'm slowly getting used to it with the codes being backwards. But at the same time, it just throws me off so much. So we got a Burmy. We got a Cotney. A Riolu. A Goth Eater. A Wizma. Wormadam. Leodrid, Bent Spoon, a Reverse Shauna, 
And the final card from part number three. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. We got aim off and regular rare. Regular rare. What an anticlimactic end. But that was expected. So out of nine packs, we're expecting three pulls. And we've got three pulls. So just sticking to the ratios, I think we've done what we were supposed to do. So let's have a quick recap of part number three. So we've got a reverse rare Zygarde. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. We've got the hollow Curum. As you guys can kind of just see, it's very faint, but it is a hollow. We've got a hollow Mew. Once again, like the hollow patterns are very hard to uh, notice on the card, but it's there. It is there. And then we've got the Genesect EX. So not bad, not not a bad part, not a good part. I'd say this part is kind of equal uh, with part number two is like pretty chill. But at the same time, we did manage to get some, get a goodie at least. We got a goodie. So I'm not disappointed. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like down below. Let me know what your um, favorite pull so far from this whole box or so say box number five if you guys have watched uh, parts number one two or three let me know in the comment section below what your favorite pull is so far on the box uh that means there'll be spoilers in the comments <laughs> just saying just saying uh but yeah if you guys enjoyed be sure to drop a like down down below and i look forward to seeing you guys in part number four or another, another one of my pokemon trading card game openings thanks for watching peace